I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I have done my uh, specialization in internal medicine. I actually also practice diabetology as well as cardiovascular medicine. And uh, I practice at Stanford Hospital at Kaikondrahalli, Bangalore. The question is on dementia. Uh, so there are many types of dementia we are dealing with. And uh, some of the natural uh, course of dementias follow with the age. So there are age-related dementias. And uh, people call it loss of memory. But more or less, or I means from the medical point of view, we call it cognitive dysfunction also. So when there are many types of dementia, obviously we have to rule out the cause also. There are some drugs which can cause dementia. Age, I already told you, senile dementia it's called as. And there are also dementias related to other neurodegenerative conditions like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And hence they are being termed like that, like Parkinson related dementia, Alzheimer related dementia and etc. So when we say early signs of dementia to catch them, we obviously call them early cognitive impairment or early dementia. Now early dementia has, uh, and scientifically speaking, we should have different scales. Scales means a questionnaire given to the patient where you are suspecting dementia. So whenever the patient's relatives or the patient's uh, near and dear ones, who will get the first signs that this patient or this relative of mine may be showing signs of dementia or memory lapses. It has to be brought to the attention of the doctor. Now, even neurologists, internal medicine person like me and psychiatrists, all of them deal with these type of disorders. They have questionnaires which are accepted worldwide. So there are guidelines and questionnaires on which we try to interview, we try to take the responses from the patient and we decide whether there is a chance that dementia is setting in. And there are various other things like quality of life, activities of daily living. These are very subtle and small signs which can be picked up by dialogues, by questionnaires. Unfortunately, we don't have any blood test right now or a, any sort of a metabolic test which can find out immediately that there is a biomarker for dementia. But we are trying to look for it because I am also involved in research. So we are trying to look for these things. But right now it is limited to questionnaires and uh, maybe imaging somehow we are trying to find out with MRIs of the brain where subtle signs of dementia are shown in the brain uh, in respect to degeneration of the brain. So these are the signs which have to be picked up early.